Today we are looking at the Infinix Hot 50i, a fresh addition to the budget smartphone scene from Infinix. This one comes in at around $100, making it an affordable option for those seeking a quality device without breaking the bank. So what exactly does it bring to the table? Let's dive in and find out. Right out of the box, the Infinix Hot 50i gives you everything you need to get started. You'll find the phone itself, a clear protective case, a charger and wired earphones, all the essentials. This is more than some bigger brands like Samsung offer with their latest models, which often skimp on accessories. It's always nice when a brand includes those extra little touches to make your experience complete. When it comes to the design of the phone, it's clear that it's a budget phone, so you won't be getting premium materials like glass or metal. But for the price, it offers more than you'd expect. The phone has a fresh, new design that stands out, and I have to say it's quite beautiful and unique in its own way. One of my favorite aspects of the design is the back. It's made of matte plastic, which not only looks sleek but also means you won't be dealing with fingerprint smudges every time you handle it. That's a big win, especially if you're not a fan of cases or constantly wiping your phone down. In terms of build quality, Infinix has done something pretty impressive here. Despite its budget-friendly price, the Hot 50i comes with an IP54 rating, which means it's dust and splash resistance. This is a feature you almost never see at this price point, and it's had an extra layer of durability, making it feel even more solid than you'd expect from a phone in this category. It's not fully waterproof, but that extra protection is a nice touch for everyday accidents like getting caught in the rain. Moving on to the display, the Infinix Hot 50i delivers exactly what you'd expect from a budget phone in 2024. It features a 720p LCD display, not the highest resolution by today's standards, but it gets the job done. The colors are decent, and while it won't blow you away with the sharpness of vibrancy, it's perfectly fine for casual media consumption, browsing, and social media. What's nice though is the punch hole camera on the front. Many budget phones still use a teardrop notch, which looks a bit dated, but the Hot 50i opts for the more modern punch hole design. It's a small detail, but it gives the phone a cleaner, more premium look compared to some of its competitors. One standout feature, however, is the 120Hz refresh rate. That's something you often don't see on budget devices and it really elevates the overall experience. Scrolling and animations feel smoother and even though it's just a 720p panel, the higher refresh rate makes everything look and feel snappier. The phone comes with Android 14 out of the box, which means you'll still have access to the most recent features that Android offers, along with improved performance and security updates. It's paired with Infinix own user interface, XOS 14. XOS offers plenty of customization options, allowing you to personalize the look and feel of your phone to suit your style, which is always a nice feature. However, Infinix has been notorious for packing their devices with a lot of bloatware, and unfortunately the Hot 50i is no exception. You'll find a bunch of pre-installed apps that you likely won't need. The good news is that most of this bloatware can be uninstalled, but it's still a bit frustrating that they're in there in the first place, cluttering up your fresh phone. If you're someone who likes a clean and minimalistic interface, you might find yourself spending the first few minutes just getting rid of the unnecessary apps. When it comes to future Android updates, it's hard to say. Being a budget phone, you shouldn't have too high expectations for regular or major updates, but at least Android 14 gives you a solid starting point. One of the highlights of the software though is Infinix's own assistant, Folax. Powered by ChatGPT, Folax isn't just a basic voice assistant, it can do a lot more. It's useful for everyday tasks, making interacting with your phone easier and more productive, which is always a nice bonus in a budget device. Under the hood, the Infinix Hot 50i is powered by the MediaTek Helio G81 chipset. Since this is a budget processor in a budget phone, you shouldn't expect flagship level performance. However, it does a decent job with everyday tasks like messaging, browsing, and even some light games. Apps open relatively quickly, and general multitasking feels smooth, especially if you're sticking to basic use cases. That being said, despite the Helio G81 being a new processor, don't expect any major leaps in performance compared to older MediaTek chips like the Helio G80 or G85. In fact, it feels like the MediaTek has been releasing the same chip under different names for a while now. So if you've used a phone with one of these older chips, the experience will feel very familiar. The phone comes with options for either 4GB or 6GB of RAM, which is sufficient for most users who aren't pushing the phone to its limits. You also get a choice between 128GB and 256GB of internal storage, both of which are expandable via microSD card. There's also virtual RAM, but I'm not sure how much of a difference this feature makes in practice. Since the Hot 50i is aimed at users who primarily need it for basic tasks, expandable RAM probably won't make a huge difference in your day-to-day -day use. Still, it's a nice feature to have on paper, 
and the storage options alone make this a phone solid for its price bracket. The Infinix Hot 50i comes equipped with a 48 megapixel Sony IMX582 main lens, which, while not the highest end sensor on the market, is a solid offering for a phone in this price range. For a device priced at around $100, the inclusion of this sensor is a pleasant surprise. It's the same one found in more expensive phones like the Galaxy A34. This means that you can expect way better photo quality than what you typically get from other budget phones in this category. In good lighting conditions, the 48 megapixel sensor shines. You'll get vibrant images that are more than adequate for social media and casual photography. While it won't rival flagship phones in terms of detail and dynamic range, it delivers impressive results for the price. As for the second lens, well, it's useless. It doesn't add much value. So it's best to focus on the main camera when taking photos. The selfie camera is an 8 megapixel lens, and like the main camera, it performs decently enough. You won't win any photography awards with the Ford 50i, but if you're just looking to take casual selfies or video calls, it gets the job done. Overall, this camera setup is great for the price, perfect for capturing everyday moments without needing to invest in a more expensive device. Just like most phones in 2024, the Infinix Hot 50i is powered by a 5000 mAh battery, which has become the standard size for a good reason. It's more than sufficient for everyday use. This battery will easily last you a full day of continuous use, whether you are scrolling through social media, streaming videos, or playing light games. If you find yourself away from a power source for an extended period, the phone also includes several battery saver modes to help stretch your usage even further. When it comes time to charge, the Hot 50i supports 18 watt fast charging. It's not the fastest on the market, but it'll get the phone from empty to full in just under 2 hours, which is reasonable for a budget device. Plus, it comes with a cool feature called bypass charging. This is particularly useful for gamers. It allows the phone to draw power directly from the charger rather than routing it through the battery. This helps reduce overheating during intense gaming sessions and conserves the overall battery health by not stressing it out when charging and gaming at the same time. So, should you buy the Infinix of 50i? Well, as usual, it depends. If you're upgrading from its predecessor, the Infinix Hot 40i, the differences may not be significant enough to justify a purchase. However, if you're coming from a much older device, this phone is definitely a solid upgrade. We'll appreciate the enhanced features, especially the 48 megapixel camera, which is a standout for a budget phone. The overall design, decent performance, and solid battery life make it a great option if you're on a budget but still want a phone that delivers more than just the basics. When looking at alternatives in the same price range, there are a few other budget phones worth considering. The Technos Pack 30C, Oppo A3X, Samsung Galaxy A06, and Redmi 14C all offer similar features with slight differences here and there. Whether it's camera quality, performance, or brand preference, these options are all great contenders around the same price range. Thanks for watching, I'm Milan and this is Fuzitech. Subscribe.